Hello fellow music producers and talented people out there. Welcome back. Happy New Year to everyone. I wish you guys to have a great and prosperous New Year this 2015. I am doing my first tutorial for the year and I am sorry if I haven't uploaded any videos for the past month because as we all know, December was a busy month for everyone. I just finished a musical production and concert so this is rest time for me and I am so excited to just do this right now. Okay, so I checked my YouTube comments and there was one comment there from Richard. Hi Richard. If I could do a video on how to start up a project on Mixcraft 7 and that's what I'm going to do right now. I have another video done but I decided to upload this first because I want all of you to know the basics especially for those who are just new in using this software before we do any advanced stuff here. All right. Okay, so let's start. So I'll be, you know, my, my expectation, just to set an expectation to you guys, I'll be doing this from the start, from the, be the very beginning. Okay, so let's load Mixcraft from the desktop, it, which is very easy to load, very quick. Then it'll pop up a window that says new project settings. And it is categorized into three groups. First group allows you to modify how many tracks you want to have on your project. So you can see the video track there as it is a checkbox. So just check it if you want to have a video track. Then you can also choose how many instrument tracks you would like to have. Either choose from the arrow keys or click the number and put in the number of tracks you want. So the default number of tracks for Mixcraft is four on audio. Okay, so you can, you know, choose or if you want to have 10 audio tracks then good for you okay so it also goes the same with um, the instrument tracks as well um, the send tracks and the rest you can also change your mode settings if you want your measurement be on time or beats you can also change your tempo your key and time signature on this window then the second one is you just load your mixcraft 7 template but it's almost the same thing as loading an existing project as well. So, but for now, let's load the default settings, okay? So Mixcraft loads five tracks, one MIDI or instrument track, and four audio tracks. Let me further explain the difference between an instrument track and an audio track. The instrument track or MIDI track allows you to record MIDI data from your MIDI keyboard. So if you're using virtual instruments on this track, so as you can see here, we have lots of virtual instruments from piano to woodwinds to drums to acoustic instruments as well. Okay, and etc. The audio track allows you to record vocals, acoustic instruments that require you to play live and use a mic. And the audio track uses a single channel. So it's on mono signal. The outcome is on waveforms while the MIDI is MIDI notes. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. So don't confuse yourself, okay? An audio track is a mono signal, so don't record, uh, don't ever record on stereo, okay? When you're recording your vocals, okay? So now, before recording, we wanna make sure that our preferences are correct so that we can efficiently re record our project. So let's go to File, then let's go to Preferences, and check your sound device. This is very important, because if you don't choose the correct routing of your input and output, you wouldn't be able to record the right way. So now it allows you to choose three drivers. These drivers um, is the go-between software that allows the audio hardware to communicate with Mixcraft. It supports three drivers, the ASIO, the Wave RT, or the Core Audio and Wave. Now, if you're playing virtual instruments or you wanna monitor your recording live, you would have to use a low latency setting. Now, ASIO usually offer the best performance, then followed by Core Audio or, or Wave RT. So right now, let us choose Core Audio as it is the default driver Mixcraft is in. Then you go and choose the right recording input. You have to select the hardware audio device that you use for recording. So as for me right now, I am using the M Audio Fast Track C400, which is routed on line 1 and 2. So you have to choose the playback device as well, which is your output, depending on how you routed it. So you can route it on multi-channels, but for now, it's routed to the same. So 
Uh, for core audio, the sample rate and bit depth are on default mode, but on the latency part, you can choose how many milliseconds you want on that. For ASIO, it shows ASIO for all as a device. And I believe most of you have already encountered this on other DAWs as well. Then on WAVE, it shows you more choices like the buffer size, which is the amount of time allotted for processing. And most of the time, a smaller buffer size is desirable, but not that small. And if you are not techy in terms of audio engineering, just choose Core Audio or ASIO. But if you're knowledgeable on that area, please choose whatever, whatever you want to choose to your liking as you understand engineering jargons, okay? So once we are done, then hit OK, right? So on a MIDI track, click the piano icon and choose whatever instrument you want to use for your project. Now, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you just use musical typing to record your notes. On musical typing, just hit the corresponding keys on your computer keyboard or hover your mouse and start clicking. Now, just check the routing of your MIDI at the downward arrow button at the right side of ARM, okay, before arming it. Now, if you forgot to hit the arm button, once you hit record, which is the red circle button at the bottom, it automatically arms the tracks as well, okay? So just don't be, don't get confused on that, right? So let's, uh, let's arm the track, then let's hit the record button to record your notes. Right now, here we go. All right, so let's play it back. So you can see the notes there, right? Now, if you don't like what you did, just hover your mouse on the track, click the right mouse button, and then delete it. Now, let's go to your audio. Since audio track is a mono track, make sure that you check the right channel. So click the arrow button beside arm, then choose your audio interface, then choose either left or right channel, not stereo, okay? That is really important, as I've mentioned earlier. Then start recording by pressing arm and the record button. So let's just make an example here. Let's record my voice. Have a great evening to everyone. Hello. Hello. All right. All right. It is pretty much easy to start recording, right? Now, as you go along your, with your project, make sure that you keep saving your files, okay? So let's say you're done for the day and you want to save your project. Go to file, then click save as, then put the file name and hit save. It is saved on the default folder and you're done. So that's a basic on recording in Mixcraft 7. As we move along, I will be tackling on advanced features of Mixcraft 7, checking the other buttons and how they are used. So for now, I just want to encourage you to start recording your song ideas and let the creative juices flow and use Mixcraft 7 for your wonderful masterpieces moving forward, okay? So that's for now. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Keep on coming. Please like and subscribe to GMAC Productions. I'm going to upload more tutorial videos soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks.